All right, welcome back to Google Earth Guru. This is Google Earth for teachers. So I wanna show one more resource for having a different base map, depending on what you wanna show. If you're a history teacher, instead of having this modern day view of Google Earth, in this case, this is the Knoxville, Tennessee area, I might want an older map. If you want anything that's post-Civil War to today, a great resource is what I'm about to show you. Let's take a look. This is the United States Geological Survey website. What I like about it is it's free and you don't need a username or password or anything like that. Anybody can access this. I'll bring up the URL right here so you can take a look. I will also leave this down in the description of this video. So how do you use this thing? Step one, come to the website and click on Get Maps. And this geospatial search engine shows up. And with this thing, I can pull up any United States map uh, that's basically from 1880 to today. Here's how I use it. You've got the directions over here. So the way I do it is I usually just type in a name that I'm looking for. In this case, I'll type in Knoxville, Tennessee, and do a search. The results come back pretty quick. Notice your results are over here to the right. So this red box is what's called the footprint to the map. So this map covers Knoxville up here in the northwest corner, Maryville, Pigeon Forge, Sevierville, Gatlinburg, further to the east. And what I have over here is several different types of export options. If I just want the picture of it to put to PowerPoint, I can do the JPEG. But if you want it in Google Earth like I do, you're going to click on the Download KMZ button. Now, this download takes a second or two, so I apologize for any awkward silences. I'm going to click on Save. And this is where it'll take a second. Not too bad. Now, the trick is... Click on open folder. The reason why is what downloads is a zip folder. So I have to right click on this and extract all first. Go ahead and click extract when that comes up. Once again, that just took a second. Here's my KMZ. And here's the cool part. Especially when compared to the last video, where we found a, a picture that we liked, but we had to do an image overlay, change the transparency, and stitch it into the, the Google Earth imagery by hand. With this, all I have to do is drag and drop and just show a little bit of patience. It usually takes a second or two. Once again, apologize for the awkward silence, but here in a minute, the map should display. There we go. There's the map, and now I can zoom in to, here's that Maryville area in the map, or come up here to the north, Knoxville in 1886, and over here, Sevierville, Pigeon Forge, and Gatlinburg. And now I can use this as my map background. Very important though, we just, generated, we just generated a KMZ from an external source, so it went to temporary places. So what you have to do from here, from here is to move that from temporary places to your My Places and Save As. I hope you like this resource. If you have any questions, you can always email me for any of the base maps, the URLs, or any questions on how to use these websites. Thanks for watching and map your world.